All right, so here's the Lever X. This is the original. I can't remember, I think I saw it on Facebook or something, but the guy was just chopping all this wood, made it look super, super easy. But um, if you got not, not really knotty wood, it's uh, kind of tough sometimes. It's all about technique though. So what I do is instead of going straight down, I kind of come down at an angle. So it's got more of that momentum to kick over because it's all about that counterweight that kicks it over. And that's how you get a lot of force to get that thing split. And it does a really nice job, you know, compared to normal axe, it could be pretty dangerous. You know, those things can kind of kick back and hit you in the leg or something. This thing kind of just falls over. Uh, so it's, it's a lot safer. I'm trying to make this my camera mount. You know, when you're in the woods, you gotta improvise. So, let's see if I can stick it in this little split in the wood. Oh, perfect. Look at that. So yeah, so then once I've got like a little pile chopped up, I'll take this guy, which is made by Fiskers. It's called the XA22. And this thing is really nice at picking up wood. Just be careful, don't ever swing it towards yourself. 
but um, I'll turn the camera around if I can and see if I can show you how it works. There's Charlie. But yeah, so usually what I do is I kind of put my foot like this and go this way, never towards me, because one time I, would, I did it, missed the wood, and like caught the back of my, my foot, or the back of my boot, and it went through the boot and just kind of poked me just a little bit, but uh, I was like, wow, this, that could be very bad. So, grab it like so. I usually put a couple under my arm if I'm not holding the phone. And then put it in the, the back of the Kubota or wherever you want to load it to. But uh, again, this is just like a super good tool. Saves your back. Pick up pretty good pieces of wood. And another thing, I'll show you this. Even like big logs, you can just stab it in there and then drag it. So, works super well. And then watch this. I can even take it, pick up a big log, just like that. So, Fiskers XA22. Good tool for you guys that have a wood stove and split up your own firewood. Tool right here. It helps me not have to bend over to pick up the wood. So I can just grab it like that, scoop it up, and grab another piece, and then walk back with like several pieces of wood. Put but it why, in the Kubota. But why can't I do that? Once again, this is a dangerous tool. This is dangerous just like an axe or a chainsaw. And you're gonna have to get a little bit bigger and, and older before you can use it. But when you're old enough, I will teach you how to use it safely. Great tool, Fiskers XA22. So I started splitting this piece of wood here, and it has these holes. I was like, I bet we'll find a big grub. So look at that grubby grubby. He's a fat one. Eli likes to play with them. They likes to be his friends. Off your, where you wanna, where you wanna stay? Oh, you got your grub. Nice. All right, where are we gonna sleep in tonight? Oh, that's our cabin right here. Nice. It's a good spot. Might have to clear it out a little bit. That's what I will do. All right. That's what I'm doing. I will get some sawdust to make a fire. Okay, that's a good idea. That's what I will do with the sticks here. Looks like that sawdust is a little wet though. Maybe we'll, we'll get to, maybe we'll get the dry sawdust. No, like, no, like when that sawdust is, gets dry, when it's summertime, it, it, it's dry. Then we can burn it up and use it as... as yeah, that's as, what I'm planning to do. Yeah, nice. We'll have some good kindling. All right. I grew up with my <laughs> Is he hungry? I don't think he likes the little wood. I think he likes the big wood.